Hi Capricorn, welcome to your love reading, love story. Uh, let's see what we have for the time frame that is written in the title of the video. I will be looking at the current energies, the person on your mind, possible outcomes, new person coming in, other details as well. If you are new to the channel, welcome as well and I invite you to subscribe because I post videos every day and you can check the schedule of the readings, it is in the description box. I post three videos per day based on the elements. Today is Earth signs, Taurus, Capricorn and Virgo. Tomorrow is fire signs and so on. What are the energies around you, Capricorn? The High Priestess, Two of Swords, somebody seems like they are ignoring you. In fact, I don't think they are consciously or really ignoring you. They are indecisive. They can't make up their mind and they want to stay silent for now. They don't want to communicate at all. They can't make that decision if they should choose somebody else or you or if they should be looking for someone new. Pisces is here, fire signs, air signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. What is affecting you in your subconscious? Maybe they lied. They were using passive-aggressive behavior, not being very transparent with you. They might have cheated, unfortunately. So take what resonates, but that is something that is in your subconscious and affecting your emotions. Now, the main problem, the heavy dramas. Could not agree even for the smallest thing or uh, just any conversation that was started would uh, escalate to some dramas and conflicts. Unnecessary dramas, fighting, that was the main challenge. Now, your focus is to try to give energy and love to somebody, but at least to take the same amount of energy and love back. You want something to be uh, that possible connection to be mutual not only with this person but with any person you want to have a give and take kind of energy now what you hope is to start as soon as possible a new better cycle into your love life you are hoping for that you might have this sense of intuition that it will happen very fast and you might have been waiting but waiting and waiting it seems like your conscious waiting is blocking that energy it is coming it is coming fast i think but it is that's why it it is said to be unexpected because it happens when you don't expect it but i think yes it will happen um, it will uh, catch you by by surprise but it will be a good surprise now let's continue with this person that is on your mind. Let's see what are their current energies right now. This person wants to heal this. They miss you a lot. You are their star. Look at that. The star card, the six of cups. They miss you a lot and they have nostalgia about um, the memories that you created and shared with each other. What is on their subconscious? The silence their intuition. I think as well that they might have some inner conflicts about if this is right or not, if they should listen to their heart or their mind, what is on their mind. They think this might have been complete, this is closed, this is over, and this hurts them a lot emotionally, and they think a lot about that. What is their plan of actions? This person is not going to take action for now. They're putting a pause at this, too much reflecting. They need to take their time. I think what is blocking this for them is this overthinking, overanalyzing. But let's see, what is the possible outcome in the near future? King of Wands. Now we are looking about the energies again with this person. Seven of Wands and the Justice. There might be an attempt to make things right, but this is motivated mostly by the desire and attraction to uh, be in touch with each other again and 
talk and communicate, but somebody is very, very guarded. Keep that in mind that if you want this connection and if they take that initiative first, don't be so guarded because it might block uh, the continuation of those energies or interaction with this person. Now, we are talking about always if they take the uh, initiative, if you take the initiative first, I think that they might be guarded as well. So take it how it resonates, but there's a strong energy here of wanting to put some balance and harmony into this situation. And this might be interpreted as wanting to make peace with each other. Now, if you want to know even more details about this person that is on your mind, about the current energies of them, there's an extended video in the description box below with even more details about them and you. Okay, let's continue with the other scenario. If you were single and looking, let's see what is the energy of the next new person coming in. You will marry this person. Uh, I have Taurus, I have Libra here as well. Fixed signs at the same time, so Aquarius, Taurus emphasized Leo is here, and Scorpio. Seven of Pentacles, Three of Cups. I think this will be a slow uh, burning kind of energy. Like it, um, there's a happy reunion. You get to know each other through others. There's that kind of interaction, or it is just telling me that you should keep your options open. You should date a lot and to grab every opportunity that you get. Don't miss any opportunity, good opportunity. Uh, be motivated to, to get out of the house and um, accept invitations and enjoy yourself and get to know new people. And that's the kind of energy you will attract those opportunities uh, when you are proactive looking. And that is the Three of Cups. Now, this is going to be successful. You will marry them. There's commitment. But before you go to that uh, step, there might be a moment in this energy because I'm getting a whole story here. The conclusion is the marriage or long-term stable commitment. There might be some waiting period. It seems to me like you might think that, okay, this is not going anywhere. I thought this would be much better or that you'd be in a serious official connection with each other much sooner. And you might get a bit discouraged. But don't get discouraged because I do see that final stage being like a victory to this connection. Anyway, I want to clarify why the Seven of Pentacles here, the Tower, something happened there that might provoke you or uh, might try to change your perception towards uh, this person, this connection, and might make you feel a bit discouraged. But I think that it is just helping you both, in fact, to correct what is going wrong in order to continue building that solid foundation that is very important before you build this castle of love. Capricorn, this was your general reading. If you like this reading, please hit the like button and share the video if you want to. If you haven't subscribed already, I invite you to subscribe because I post videos every day. Thank you for watching. I wish you all the best and I will see you the next reading. Bye for now.